I came across the truck in the swap meet section at a car show and it just looked really sad and forgotten and mismatched. But there was just something about it that spoke to me. It was kind of like I didn't feel like I had a choice. I had to rescue this truck. Life isn't perfect. I'm not perfect. Why should my truck be perfect? And the fact that you can see this truck's history in the body of it, I didn't want something that was perfect. It had layers and layers of paint and Bondo on it. So I knew that needed to come off, but I didn't want to do like a shiny, crazy show truck. I've always been attracted to raw materials. I love the Airstream trailers. I like the aluminum tank on a V-Rod. My motorcycle is a chrome tank. And when I started stripping down the Bondo and getting down to the steel on the truck, I knew that was the way I wanted to go with it. When you're driving a 70-year-old vehicle, you have to think about everything. I have to watch her temperature gauge. I have to keep a safe traveling distance because the drum brakes are not gonna stop the way modern brakes are. Every moment you're behind the wheel, you're thinking about connecting with the road and you're connecting with the vehicle. It's a great kind of escape. I get out and I drive that truck because I'm focused on driving and experiencing the world around. You know, I've got the windows down, the air is blowing in, the cadence of the flathead. It just, it soothes me and it helps me think. My favorite driving scenario is getting up early right around the time the sun's coming up getting on the road with no other cars, starting the slow cruise up the hill with the sun kissing the Joshua trees, and gradually pushing it a little harder and a little harder and just feeling that rumble and the sensation of being on the road and just being connected with the truck and connected with this experience of driving. And that's what it is when you drive a classic. It's, a, it's an experience, it's an adventure. It's not just a means of transportation, but to me, this truck is a friend. And through the process of bringing this truck back to life, I became so bonded to this truck and it would just feel wrong to me to correct some of the things that are imperfect about the truck. I'm a lover of history and I'm a lover of story. And when you get behind the wheel of an old vehicle like my truck, you know that there are stories embedded in every part of this vehicle. My name is Lori Bentley Law, and this is why I drive.